beep, 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 beep. Jester special. Needs a cup of tea. <laughs> right. Manchester City bloody council. So yesterday, I went out for a booze up with a bunch of boozy old broads from the Women's Rights Network. No, they're not at all. <laughs> None of them drank and I was there quaffing away like a drunken old fool. But we had a fantastic meal, nice curry and some really good discussion around some of the things that are going on right now. So they've now got a, a YouTube channel, which is just great. So go and have a look, details in the Dubris, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel because what they're doing is going around filming stuff that council twats are doing, right? <laughs> not all of them, just the ones that are twats are doing. So they film the stuff that goes on when they go to talk about various things or they take uh, the, the footage from what the council's doing, which normal people don't sit around going, what are you going to do tonight, Mavis? Well, I thought I'd watch the council meeting from this morning, right? Most people don't do that, right? Let's get that straight. So they're able to do this underhanded stuff under the table, which is what they've been doing, right? So let's, let's get our cards on the table, as they say, right? Okay. So uh, first off, let's, uh, let's, let's look at the face of the women behind the council's shenanigans about LARPing men being in swimming pools. Ooh, look, the magic of technology. There they are, the two of them. But you will see in the quick, quick clip coming up now. So now you know who they are. Uh, the, you'll see one at the end and one at the beginning, right? Okay, um, and so let's watch the clip and see what happens. Hold on, hold on, go. Um, Manchester City Council is saying Women's swimming is open to all women, and they include trans women in that, um, in that definition of women. And we believe women attending swimming, women's swimming sessions would expect, and have the right to expect, that these are single-sex si swimming sessions. Uh, Self-ID as the opposite sex is not the law in the UK, and only biological women should be allowed to swim. Uh, to I'm join sorry, women. that's your opinion. Sw no. Sorry, I'm going to stop you on that because this is this is about equality and inclusion. Okay, and right. quite frankly, if if a person has transitioned and gone and has actually done this, then why should they not be? Um, done this. So I've got to say, I'm not going to allow that point. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Hello? This rather stupid person seems to think that the Equality, or Equality Act doesn't apply to them. They seem to think that, oh no, yeah, I don't like your opinion, so therefore I'm not going to take it on board. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely beyond the pale insane. And you've got the LGBT foundations involved in this, the Albert Kennedy, all sorts of people are involved in this absolute nonsense. And there's a, a mention in the next clip when you come to the end, right? In the next clip I'm going to show you, which is sort of like, well, I'm next, which is the end almost. And if you want to see the whole thing that they put up, you can go to their site and do it at Women's Rights Network, Manchester. Uh, so I watch this bit now. Watch this bit now. It's just beyond the pale. Watch this bit now. The, the next point, which is about data, on page 69 to 70, our uh, active adults increasing and sustaining activity levels, it says across the, uh, and it gives the figure of active participants accessing leisure facilities, 48 have declared themselves as female and 52% male it is that we can't accurately monitor the, the, the protected characteristics if the data that is collected is not accurate according to the protected characteristics and sex is a protected characteristic i also want to know when a person has fully transitioned then they should be treated equally i'm sorry but i don't agree with your your terminology so and it's part of our policy as well. So I don't want to get into a debate, but it is part of our policy. Yes. Good to hear from uh, members of the public who have different views to all of us, but I would just remind the public watching and uh, members of the committee and everybody in this room that in February 2022, the council passed a motion unanimously to affirm that trans rights are human rights and that trans women are women. So um, I think that's council policy that was passed by all 96 members of the council chamber. So uh, just to remind everyone of that. Here. What's that about? <laughs> right, so they talk there at the end about the trans pledge, right? This is the trans pledge. Get your, hand, get, get your head around it. This is what they said. Trans women are women. For the love of God, these people shouldn't be in charge of anything. They shouldn't be in charge of anything. 
Now, I've written to the head of the council. I'm expecting to get an email back. You'll find it on Twitter if you have a look on my thing, on my Twitterings, right? You'll find it there. But that's what they're saying. Look at that. So I thought, right, I'll go to Manchester Council on Twitter and I'll ask him a couple of questions. Only to discover, yay. I'm a gay man who wants to ask questions of the council. And, you know, when they put out events that are meant for gay people, how do I know if, them, if I'm blocked on Twitter? For example, this event. Gosh, it looks like I'm not included because I'm gay. <laughs> is it me or could they be in some possible legal hot water? Now, this is fine and dandy for me to scream out about this and to shout all about this, but I don't imagine that both councillors that are making a disgrace of themselves in the council chamber will be watching this. But just in case you are, let's give you a quick lesson. So no matter how much you hate the fact that I'm speaking about this or how much you dislike my opinions, I suggest that you hold your ears back and listen for a change. Trans women are men. Trans men are women. How dare you give away my sexuality? And how dare you give away the protected characteristic of sex in defiance of the Equality and Human Rights Commission's recommendations? The fact that they are LARPing and whether or not, especially to the main woman who was speaking here, they've cut off their todgers or not. It makes no difference. They are still men. They are still men. And how are you going to, what, you're going to stand at the swimming pool door, are you, dear? And go, right, give us a look. Yeah, you can go in. Is that what you're going to do? No. We keep them all out because you can do, because it is a legitimate aim to provide a women's only swimming event. Muslim women, Jewish women, women of faith, any woman for that matter, women are telling you no and you seem to refuse to listen, despite the fact that you're a woman. Why the hell are you throwing your own sex class under the buses beyond me? Because you're supposed to be a lefty. Somebody tell me, because I don't bloody get it. Right, so it gets worse. So what they do then is Andy Burnham has got, uh, uh, you watching Andy? Andy Burnham, mayor of Manchester, has got some kind of look up at you group that advise him. Have a look at them. What do you notice? An absolute parade of pronoun ponces and bufters. What are they doing? <laughs> You're nut jobs. You're all mad. So I've written to the head of the council because I'd like to go and talk to them. And then we can ask them the question as to whether these two know what they're talking about, which they blatantly don't. How dare you give away my sexuality? How dare you support a homophobic, child-harming, deranging illness masquerading as some kind of identity? How dare you? Buckle up, we're coming.